What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D and today we got a super, super exciting first ride. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me or not yet, probably not, but y'all know I've been looking for a track bike because obviously I don't put these expensive bikes that I have on the track just in case something happens because something's going to happen that's the best place for it to happen. But I've talked about getting this bike before and finally we've got the Yamaha gang out here. It is a Yamaha R7. Thank you too. Marg's over here. I appreciate you trusting me with your baby. I would heard you're actually selling this thing, right? Yes. How much are you selling it for? We'll talk numbers. Uh-oh. So if you want to talk numbers with her about this bike, definitely hit her up. I'll throw her Instagram up on the screen. Tell them what bike you're thinking about getting. S1K. Woo! From the R7 to the S1K. She's doing it right. All right, tell us what all you have done to this thing. So it has the full system, two brothers racing, S1 3K carbon exhaust, um, the fender eliminator with the integrated tail or turn signals and the mm -hmm. tail light, um, the flush turn signals on the side, um, and then just the underglow lights that change colors. Yeah, it looks sick at night. I'm not gonna lie. On top of that, the ECU flash. Ooh, Marks ain't playing. So if y'all want the smoke as well, y'all know where to find her. But I told her before she gets rid of this thing, I gotta ride it because I don't know anyone else with the R7 that's local around here. So I'm super excited to get on this and other things. She's Bye. never. Wait, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But other thing is, she's never ridden a 1000. So she's gonna get on rain. Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. I told her just take it slow, take it easy. You're not gonna be doing anything crazy, and she'll be fine. Next thing you know, I know, right? <laughs> just flying <laughs> past me once she gets comfortable. But yeah, it's getting uh, the sun is kind of setting here, as y'all can see. So we're gonna do some highway and then a little bit of back road stuff, and we'll see what to do. I'm excited to kind of put this R7 through its paces and see if it's something that would be actually like feasible as a track bike. Enough talking, let's get this cold start going, baby. Woo. Wait, hold on, let me get the idle. He's got like a nice deep rumble to it. And that's just the three quarter system she threw on there. It sounds phenomenal. All right, let's hear it, Marks. Woo. I don't know if the GoPro is picking that up, but that sounds phenomenal. That sounds really good. Yeah, it's got a real nice looking dash. And it's got a freaking fuel gauge. Yamaha, put it on the R1. Like, what are you guys doing? I always say, yes, you don't need it, but even on the track, it'd be nice to know how many more laps you can do where you need to pit in. But all right, let's cut to the B-roll real quick, and then we'll take it for a spin. <laughs> I'm upset. I just did all that and I wasn't recording. Dang it! It's all good. We're still pretty uh, pretty fresh into this video. I wasn't recording! It's all good. I'm starting now. It's always so sick seeing your bike rolling. Woo! I was saying, I think Yamaha makes the best sounding bikes. This thing sounds phenomenal. Just like the bass in it. Yeah, she's loving it. I don't really don't let people ride my bikes, um, but if I do, then the Yamaha is usually the one that I uh, let people ride. That might change though, since uh, they're not gonna be making any more Yamaha R1Ms. Gas? I can't hear you, this thing's so loud. Yeah, it's got a quick shifter, yeah, up and down. She was like, oh, I don't have to ride it. I was like, what are you gonna do? Just freaking sit here with my looking at my bike as I'm out on yours for like 30 minutes or whatever, how long it takes. Woo! Yeah, Yamaha's got the sound down for sure. Now today's video has been sponsored by NBT Clothing. Now, if you're like me, you may have a moment of weakness where you know you should wear your leathers, but let's be real here, you just don't feel like throwing your leather jacket and leather pants on. And lucky for you guys, that's where. NBT clothing comes in hand. My two favorite things to rock are the armored hoodie and the new and improved straight leg 
armored pants. The armored hoodie comes with level one CE rated armor in the shoulder and in the elbow joint. It's also made out of this really soft material. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it feels so good. It's super stretchy. It has these zippered pockets so you can securely store your personal belongings. And it's got an air mid liner, so if you go sliding down the road, you're protected way better than if you're just wearing a regular hoodie. I also always rock these armored pants right here. They've also got level one CE rated armor in the knee and in the hip joint. It's got that stretchy material so you can drop it low without ripping your pants. Don't ask me how I know. It's also lined with airmen, so if you go sliding down the road, once again, you're a lot more protected than if you were wearing a regular pair of jeans. Let's all ride protected this year. Check out mbtclothing.com. Use the code FASTLANEGANG to save 15% on your order and treat yourself to something nice. <laughs> No quick shifter Yamaha. Oh man. I feel like that should come standard. Oh shoot, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Dang it. <laughs> this is off to a great start, guys. That sunset makes it all better though. But this thing is really light, dude. Oh my gosh. started this off with me making the wrong turn but in case anyone didn't know this is definitely not a highway bike <laughs> let's just say that <laughs> but it's definitely got some good torque man oh your boy's getting used to the manual downshifting with the rev matching again dude it sounds great it's comfortable i like the tack on here too what do you think <laughs> i told you yeah oh my gosh mark definitely likes speed i knew she was gonna love it but this was her first bike which is a great first bike honestly it's got enough power where you can kind of grow into it and not get bored of it within like a month or if you want to use it as a track bike once you get used to it and then buy another bike it's perfect for that as well god that sounds so good that sounds so good and I don't want to get anything too fast for the track because obviously I have fast bikes like I don't need I kind of want something that's a little bit more tame and I can really like push the limit on and kind of sculpt my skill because if you think of any like good professional rider like they started out on smaller CC bikes and then worked their way up to the fast stuff they didn't just start off on the 1000 Now, obviously, we all know, like I said, this isn't a highway bike. I'll give a quick highway review, and then once we stop and get gas, then we'll do the back road review, which is really what I'm buying this for. It's not for the highway capability. I already have bikes like this that can rip on the highway, no problem. So it's not really fair to judge it off what just happened, but yeah, no, I was definitely wishing I was on my R1 <laughs> a second ago. She was getting it, man. But you are kind of getting blown around on this bike on the highway man because it's so light <laughs> i can't get over how this thing sounds Sheesh. <laughs> so many options what the heck what do you think I fucking love it. <laughs> I knew you would. I love going fast. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, the first flyby, I was like, oh yeah, she's about to get a 1000 right now. Mark's about to be like, I'm training it in. Yeah, this bike feels fucking amazing. I know. Once you get used to the power 1000, it's so hard to go back. I don't even want to ride my bike. <laughs> it's going to feel way different now. It's like once you see it, you can't. Home with R7. Hell, hell no. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I love my baby too much. 
All right, so quick little like mid review, highway review. Obviously, like I was saying, this is not a highway bike, so it's not really fair to judge it like that. It's kind of getting thrown around a little bit, but I mean, it's got plenty for like doing legal stuff. Like not illegal activities like what she was just doing. No, this thing is great. Like I said, it's lightweight. I think it just sounds so freaking good. Seating position is also comfortable. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of it for the highway review. Oh, snap. I say she's going to disappear. I ain't ever going to see her again. <laughs> you don't even know what to do. Exactly. Where did Mari's going to look behind me? You're just gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. All right. I was getting excited for a sec. I was like, oh, this thing sounds good. And then she started that one up. All right. Hopefully, this, uh, my phone doesn't mess up the camera too much. I have no idea where I'm going. This is a route her buddy sent her back here where there's some nice twisty roads we're not gonna do the whole thing just because it's getting dark and i need to get back home and do some stuff we're gonna do a little bit of it so i can kind of feel how this thing is in the corners okay it's got a little bit of get up like it's not slow but i wouldn't say it's fast <laughs> if that makes sense Swoop. We got a little pop. Oh yeah, dude, this thing feels great. I kinda wanna give the car some space so I can actually like enjoy this. All right, let's see how this does. It's kinda cold out, so I'm not gonna go crazy. That's probably in the 50s right now. Oh, dude. That sounds so good. So corner exit speed, it's not bad. It does feel really light though, which is something that I really appreciate. But part of me is like, I think a 600cc bike, like a sport bike might be a little bit quicker as far as corner exit speed. Guys, it is freezing out here, holy sh Yeah, dude, this thing feels, okay. Corners, it feels great. Like coming in a corner high. Oh, the brakes actually feel pretty decent. Yeah, the brakes aren't bad. But the brakes are also something that you can uh, upgrade like the pads and do some stainless steel lines and it'll make it even better and also you're not carrying a, a ton of speed on this bike as well all right guys i like it i like it a little bit more than i thought i would honestly <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere all right i'm gonna cut to like where we have some more light because yeah we can't see anything out here and i'm freezing it's eight o'clock it's getting late. We need to get off these back roads. Do not recommend this. I was trying to get this video for you guys. So if you're enjoying it, definitely hit that like button, man. Greatly appreciate it as we are freezing our butts off right now. I like stopped talking. I was like, F this. Yeah, it's so cold. And there's no street lights. And I want an unfamiliar bike. This is a terrible idea. And my phone's about to die. Nice. All right, guys, we made it to a kind of warm spot, but at least something with some decent lighting. That got really sketchy really quickly but as far as the r7 are you cold Mari? <laughs> she's over here shivering in the background man it's it, that was bad final thoughts on the r7 here great bike i really can't think of anything super negative that like stood out that i really didn't like about it corners easily it feels good brakes are good it's got power power <laughs> all right out of the corner i, I know i know i know just this way it's hard to ride a leader bike and then Try and ride other bikes, especially when all your bikes are like that. But for what it is, it's phenomenal, man. I like the, the tack on there. The seating position is also comfortable. I mean, I love it. Why are you getting rid of it, Marks? You should keep it. Faster bike. Ah, I understand that. She wants a faster bike. So, yeah, I don't, I don't blame me. <laughs> I would keep this as a track bike. That's what I would do. And then get something super, super fast. You still have it, but that's just me. All right, guys, I'm gonna get home so I can warm up because I am freezing. If y'all enjoyed that video, make sure the like button, hit that subscribe button, join the fast lane gang, babe. B. Hit the like button for Mars because she uh, just froze her.
popped off for me and you guys in this video. So if y'all enjoyed it, hit it for her if you don't want to hit it for me, all right? Love you guys, as always, work hard, be consistent, you can do anything you want in life. Your boy, Ray Marks, we out. Peace. So you saw us filming the outro over here as she's shivering with show me hands real quick. <laughs> she's literally shivering and it's that cold, man. Say your name and shout whatever you want to shout out, man. Uh, Caleb, shout out Room Blasters. Go hit him up, 50% off. Yes, sir. There we go. All right, he's got you, man. He's got a bike, too. Tell him what bike you have. I got a ZXR10 and a Ninja 650, both yeah. 2000s. There we go. And he's uh he just subscribed to the channel, man. So fast lane gang, we out here growing, bro. I appreciate the love, man. Hell yeah, bro. Now she turns the lights on. We should have done that when I was on there.